Hello everyone, this is your weather on the fly outlook and discussion for Saturday, March 29, 2025. Update concerning convective outlook days 1 to 3. For today, there is a slight risk of severe thunderstorms this evening into the overnight hours across northern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas into western Missouri. Downstream of a blocked regime, including an increasingly prominent mid-level high centered over the western Aleutians, models indicate that a broad, deep mid-level low will continue to evolve across the northeastern Pacific. To the south of this feature, mid-level flow is forecast to intensify in a westerly belt across the southern mid-latitudes, toward the central and southern California coast. This will be preceded inland by a number of weaker perturbations across the southern Great Basin and Rockies, through the Great Plains, where at least a couple may gradually begin to consolidate into larger-scale troughing by Sunday morning. A sub-1000 millibar low has already formed within surface troughing to the lee of the Colorado Rockies. However, models indicate little, if any, further deepening through this period. The impact of seasonably cold air, now nosing southward to the lee of the northern Rockies, remains unclear. But guidance generally indicates that the primary low will either migrate across or reform east-northeast of the central Great Plains into Iowa by late tonight, with a trailing cold front surging across the central Great Plains. It appears that this will be preceded by a moistening southerly return flow, which probably will include surface dew points rising through the 60s across much of the lower southern into central Great Plains by early this evening, and into portions of the upper Midwest by early Sunday. Models indicate that this will occur beneath a narrow plume of elevated mixed-layer air slowly spreading across and east of the Great Plains into Mississippi Valley. Widely scattered severe thunderstorms, posing a primary threat for very large hail and severe damaging winds are possible. Although a tornado or two cannot be ruled out, this may include an organizing cluster of storms across parts of northern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas through western Missouri this evening into the overnight hours. For Sunday, there is an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms across a broad area centered over the Ohio and mid-Mississippi and Tennessee valleys. A mid-level shortwave trough is forecast to shift northeastward out of the Central Plains into the upper Great Lakes region through the first half of the period, with an accompanying surface flow deepening slowly as it reaches the Lake Michigan vicinity by early evening. Meanwhile, a secondary shortwave trough, composed of several vorticity maxima, is forecast to move into and across the central and southern plains toward the Mississippi Valley through the second half of the period, possibly driving weak frontal wave development in the mid-Mississippi and lower Ohio Valley vicinity by evening. As the cold front crosses western Illinois and Missouri during the day, daytime heating will support destabilization, yielding scattered thunderstorm development as the main initial shortwave trough crosses this region. Large hail and damaging winds will become increasingly likely as the storms organize, and a few tornadoes, some strong and intense, will also be possible. This convection may evolve into one or more bands of organized storms with embedded rotation, with risk for more widespread strong damaging gusts, in addition to embedded tornadoes, as the convection shifts across Indiana and southern lower Michigan, and eventually western Ohio through the evening and into the overnight hours. An enhanced risk will be maintained across a broad area at this time, though an upgrade to a level 4 moderate risk in the lower Ohio, Tennessee and mid-Mississippi Valley Corridor may be required in later outlets. For Monday, there is a slight risk of severe thunderstorms from portions of the northeast to the central Gulf Coast and southeast states. Showers and thunderstorms are expected to be ongoing along and ahead of a cold front just west of the Appalachians at the start of the period Monday morning. Severe weather is likely to accompany some of the early period convection. As the front advances across the higher terrain through the afternoon, some destabilization is expected, modest across the northeast, but more substantial with southward extent, from roughly Virginia southward. This will support an increase in storm coverage and intensity through the afternoon hours. Across northern portions of the outlook, the primary risk in the very modest instability environment will be locally damaging wind gusts. Farther south, an all-hazards risk is anticipated, including hail and potentially a few tornadoes. As is the case for Sunday, farther west, 
The NOM remains more bullish with respect to lapse rates and instability, and with support potentially greater than a slight risk potential from roughly the Carolinas southwestward to Georgia and southern Alabama. However, uncertainty regarding prefrontal clouds and convection across the southeast early precludes inclusion of higher probabilities at this time. By evening, storms moving into southern New England should weaken, along with diminishing severe potential in part due to a cooler marine boundary layer. However, risk will likely continue through the evening farther south until storms clear the middle and southern Atlantic coasts overnight. Be sure to share, like and subscribe for the latest Storm Prediction Center outlooks.